Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So welcome to my new course Babel JS. So what is this Babel JS and why we need to use this Babel JS and where this exactly fits in the front end development. So let's try to see about this Babel JS in this series. Now if you try to type this Babel JS or anything if you are try if you are working in the real time application front end development so more often you'll be able to see about this you will come across this babel trans compiler so about this babel thing so what is this uh, babel when we will be using this babel in our real time application you know and if you try to see your library is something like react.js or vue.js anything so you will be able to see about this babel compiler now let's see about this babel thing so if i try to type this one in the google about this babel js and here in the title you will be able to see babel the compiler for the next generation javascript so babel is a javascript compiler now if i try to open so this is the home page of this babel and here the definition of this babel is nothing but babel is a javascript compiler and they are telling that use next generation javascript today so that means we are able to understand that this babel is nothing but a javascript compiler now you need to understand about this compiler little bit for example let's say that we know that javascript outright works in the browser directly now if you try to write the code in the console so that means in the browser so immediately it will try to work it so for example if you say that where um, or otherwise one plus two so if i try to write this code so three so that means so this directly outright working the javascript code is working directly so now you need to understand that this is not compiling to another language to any intermediate language and that intermediate language is not giving the output so here the javascript directly works it so the, there is no need for the compiler in the browser so then what does this babel do so what does this babel so in our the normal programming languages like dotnet or uh, java if you try to see those things it it should be uh, it needs a compiler so that compiler will convert the dotnet code or any uh, java code into the byte code on a assembly language uh, assembly language code so it will convert into a another language something like byte code so that means so we're converting our programming code to another language we need a compiler compiler will convert the code to the another language so that is the re re meaning of this compiler but javascript we don't need any compiler directly the javascript code directly executes in the browser so then what does this babel do so to which language this babel will compile you need to understand here the babel will convert the javascript code again to javascript only so that is the meaning of this one so the javascript code will be converted again to javascript so then converting the javascript code to again javascript code then what is the use of this one so if you want to understand this thing you we need to understand the history of the javascript so if you understand the history of the javascript then you can see that babel where it will be useful now if you come to the javascript history so let's uh, proceed with a small thing briefly so the current trending right now working is the ecmascript so ecmascript so if you try to see ecmascript uh, the current version trying it is running is the ecmascript 2021 so the javascript other name for the javascript has another name that is nothing but the ecmascript so the ECMAScript right now the <coughs> current trending the current working is the 2021 so the 2021 ECMAScript 2022 the preview release is going to be released 2022 the current stable release is the 2021 so if you try to observe this one in every release of the javascript you will be able to have the latest features or otherwise latest syntax the latest methods the whatever the thing you may implement so the things will be introduced in the javascript so if you try to observe the old javascript code and right now what we are writing the javascript code has evolved so much so has developed has has developed so much now we know that the javascript is used by the browsers in order to execute so now the javascript has evolved very rapidly so with each year it is improving now is the browsers are able to uh, update that one so is the browsers are able to capable to execute the next generation javascript that is nothing but the latest javascript what we can say is so we we can say that the latest browsers so which we are using so it will be able to understand so they will try to develop with the, taking the latest feature of the javascript keeping in mind they will develop the browser then what about the older browsers 
if the people are using something like internet explorer 11 so if you try to see ie 11 so this browser is this capable of doing uh, of executing the latest javascript features no it cannot execute it so for example let's say that i am having a console here so here i will try to use something like constant add is equal to so i am using an arrow function and i will try to do console.log mm, i will try to do console.log anything so greeting let's try to make it as a greeting console.log hello this is the thing so now if i try to mention greeting so it will execute it will tell hello so that means the chrome browser the latest chrome browser is able to understand the syntax what i have written that is nothing but the arrow functions so this is the feature which was released in ecmascript 2015 or 6 es6 it was released now let's try to use the same code in the ie11 so will it able to work so i am going to the inspect element here and in the console i am trying to write the same code so if you try to write the same code here if i click here so it is telling that syntax error so what is the problem we are having here so that means the arrow functionality what we are trying to write it is unable to understand so the syntax whatever the syntax i have written here it is unable to understand now if you try to write your real-time application so that means if you are trying to write the real-time application using the latest features the ecmascript features like error dist array destructuring spread operator rest operators promises and async await these things arrow functions let constant these are all the things if you are trying to implement these features and if you want to use it in your application and if you try to see this ie 11 suddenly the browser is not supporting the features what we have used then the entire application so will collapse so the client will uh, ask that why it is not working in the ie 11 because of the latest features what you are using the browser is unable to understand the code what you have written it will understand the older version of the code only so that means the older version of the code is nothing but so let's say that function so this is the older version of the code so function greeting and here i can write console.log hello so this is the code which the which it can understand if i click here so function greeting is able to understand now if i try to do the greeting if i try to call the greeting now it is showing us hello world so that means so this is the older syntax so which could be understood by the all the browsers so this is the older uh, version of the javascript implementation function implementation so this is the latest ecmascript features implementation so now we need to write again the older version of the javascript code in order to accept by all the browsers so this could be a uh, this could be a challenging for us so here the babel browser comes in comes in a handy thing whatever the thing you can use the next generation javascript so you can write the javascript whatever the javascript you want the latest features using the latest features you can write it the babel will compile it to the older version of the javascript let's say es5 es5 is the uh, es5 is the version which could be understood by all the browsers so notably browsers ie 11 and ie 10 if you want to support it ie 8 and uh, ie 8 also ie 8 means you need to use the es3 implementation so well, let's say ie 10 and ie 11 ie 8 these are all dead right so these are not not working so we'll be using ie and ie 10 let's assume so basic thing so if you are if you want to understand if you want your code to be understandable by the minimum browsers means so we need to write the older version of the code but we cannot uh, so we want to learn the new new technologies or otherwise new features of the javascript we need to implement in our code so in order to implement that one so we use this intermediate compiler babel so by using the babel babel will convert the code into a browser understandable code so in our uh, older version of the browsers browsers which cannot be understandable so the babel will convert it <clears throat> so this is the brief introduction of this babel so babel what it will try to do is the babel the main usage of the babel is so you will write the next generation javascript code and the babel will convert this next generation javascript code to the older version of this javascript that is nothing but es5 or es3 whatever the target you mention it it will convert to the older version of the javascript that is understandable by you so this is the main uh, concept behind the uh, babel so this is why this is the way we will be using the babel so hope you understood about this babel introduction in the next video we will try to compare the different types of javascript compilers 
available in the market so we'll try to see it and we'll try to see the online how the babel will convert the next generation javascript code to the older version of this javascript code let's try to see it now you understood about the problems that are in the i11 so now i am trying to write the new version of the javascript code but when i am trying to execute it it is throwing an instant tax error but if i try to use this older version of the javascript code that is nothing but es5 implementation it is able to work so that means in automatically in the chrome also it will work so the older implementation of the javascript automatically it will work and also the newest implementation also it will work but the main thing is so we need to get the code working in all the browsers so that is the main agenda of us so the babel so it gives us the solution that our code whatever the code we are writing it could be able to uh, understandable by minimum all the browsers whatever the browsers we want we can use it with using the babel so this is the usage of this babel so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you